Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku and today we're solving Magic Blue by Philip Newman. This is a region sum line Sudoku, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And we also have some blue region sum lines in the grid. Each of these lines passes through at least two different regions in the grid. And the sum of the digits on the line has to be equal within each region it passes through. So for example, this is just going to be a 1 because it only touches one cell in each of the two regions it passes through. So the sum here is a 1 and then the sum here is a 1. Similarly, that's going to be a 4, that's a 9, that's a 6. These are both 7s because we have to have a sum, a quote unquote sum of 7 in this region and this region, and we have 3s there. That's going to let us do some Sudoku before we work with any more of the region sum lines. The threes here tell us the only place for a three in region one is right there. The sevens here tell us the only place for a seven is right there. The sevens here tell us there are two positions for a seven in this region, in region four. However, we can't put a seven there because we would have to duplicate it, putting a second seven here, which would conflict with the seven in the row. So the seven must go right there. Similarly, we have to place a 3 here because we cannot put it right there. Now, what else can we place here? So this cell and this cell are equal. They can't be 1, 2, 3, or 4. They can't be 7 or 9, so they are 5, 6, or 8. And similarly, these guys are going to be 2, 4, or 5 by the same logic. These guys can't be 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, or 9. So they are 2, 5, 8. And these also can't be 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, or 9, so they are 2, 5, or 8. Those can't be 2, that can't be 8, that can't be 4, that can't be 6. Okay, so this isn't quite giving us anything to go on um, as far as determining what these digits are yet. So let's turn our attention to these length 3 region sum lines. So what have we got going on here? Well, we can't have a 6 on that, because the 6 has to be in one of those cells. We can't have a 4 on this one, because the 4 has to be in one of those cells. There's going to be a 9 in one of these cells, and I kind of suspect that the 9 can't be on the region sum line, but I'm not sure that's completely obvious yet, so we're going to leave that deduction for the time being. Uh, there's going to be a 1 in one of those cells by Sudoku, so there's going to be a 1 in one of those cells. And symmetrically, there's going to be a 9 in one of these cells by Sudoku, so there's going to be a 9 in one of these cells. Hmm. I did not try this one before starting this video today. And I suspect I'm going to come to regret that, because this is turning out to be a pretty tricky puzzle. So how about these digits? Maybe this is where we're going to crack it. So these are from 1, 2, 4, 5, 8. Nope, that doesn't seem like it's going to do it. These are from 2, 5, 6, 8, 9. And of course that's not going to work either, because that's symmetrical. Um, Maybe there's something that we can do with the sum of the long region sum line. So the minimum possible value we could have along this line, the three lowest digits are 2, 4, and 5. But we can't just make this 2 plus 4 plus 5 because that would break this cell. So the minimum we can make this would be 2, 4, and 6, which is 12. So the minimum here is 12. That's not incredibly helpful. Um, the maximum is 4, 6, and 8, which is 18. So we're somewhere between 12 and 18. Interesting. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm on to something now. There's something I completely missed, which is that there's a 9 there by Sudoku, and there's a 1 there by Sudoku. And that tells us there's a 1 in one of those cells, and then there's a 9 in one of those cells. And then also there is a 3 in one of these cells, because there's a 3 here. We know the 3 in this region goes in one of those cells, so our 3 goes right there. And similarly, we have a 7 in one of those cells, so our 7 in this region is going to go right here. 
So now these are going to be four, five, six, and that can't be a six. And these are going to be four, five, six, and that can't be a four. Okay, so that's some progress. We're starting to get somewhere here. We still don't know much about where we're going to put nines here, which I think could be useful for this long region sum line. Got to have an eight up here. And we've got to have a 2 down here, so this can't be a 2 or an 8. So that's from 4, 5, or 6. We know 2 is in one of those cells and 8 is in one of those cells. That can't be 1 or 8. Okay, so this is the only position for 1 in this row, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's correct. So those are both going to be ones. That's going to be useful because that places a one right here. And we, I think, get a symmetrical deduction because this is the only position for nine in row three. So that's also going to be a nine. So we do get to place our nine right there. Okay. Now we're making some progress. It's been a while since one got me like this. Um, this is a very challenging puzzle. Well played, Philip. So now. This is the only position for 8 in the row, so now we can place our 8 in this region. We can eliminate 8s from there and there. And that's not 8, that's not 2, so that's 4, that's a 7-8 pair. And we can eliminate 4 from here. And that's from 2, 4, or 5. Now these are from 2, 5, or 6. Those are from 1, 2, 5, or 6. These are from 2, 5, 6, or 7. That's not a 2. That's not a 7. That can't be a 1, of course. Aha, no, that has to be a 2 because of the 5, 6 pair here. So we can eliminate our 2s there and place a 2 right there. Making this a 6 and this a 2, 3 pair. And so now we know that this is 4, 5, and 6 for the sum here. So the total is 15. That's that sum. So this is a 3, so these are going to sum to 12. So that can't be a 2. This can't be a 5 because we would need 5 plus 7. So this has to be 4 plus 8, which goes like that. That makes this a 9 and actually resolves the entire rest of the region. And we get to resolve the entire top part of the grid now by Sudoku. By Sudoku, that's a 5 and an 8. These are going to be 4 and 9 to finish off this region. These are going to be 3 and 4. These are going to be 5 and 8. Now we need this to be a sum of 15, meaning it has to be 2 plus 6. So make 8 plus 7 makes 15. Okay, so now these are going to be 1, 4, and 5. That can't be our 1, so that's the 1. This can't be a 2. We can resolve that. And the rest of it should fall apart via classic Sudoku. There we go. That was a really challenging one, but I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Philip. If you want to solve that yourself, the link to try it is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in three days.